the new age of aging. We are talking with pro-age advocate Mary Frischman on today's Super Boomer Lifestyle Show. This is the show for Super Boomers and beyond that will enhance your lifestyle, health, empowerment, and more. Hello, everyone. Karen Glasser here. I am so delighted that you have chosen to join us today. We have a great show for you. As normal, we normally start the show like this. If you're here live, make sure you put a comment down below. Oh, we've got Wendy here. I'm going to put Wendy's comment up here. There she is. Awesome. Hi. <laughs> and so if you're here live, make sure you tell us you're here live. And if you have something that you want to share with us, we'll put your comments up on the screen. If you are here on replay, we're just as excited that you're here on replay. Make sure you put hashtag replay down in the comments. And we will make sure to come back and respond to your comments because that's the type of people that we are. And of course, I would love you forever and ever and ever if you would share the show. Right now, you know you want to do it. Reach right down, click that share button, send it on out to your network. I'll wait. No, I won't. I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. All right. So today we're talking about the new age of aging. I love that title. We're going to talk with our guest in just a second about that title. But you are tuning in to the Super Boomer Lifestyle Show. And our guest today is Mary Frischman, and she is a pro-age advocate and creator of a very immensely popular Insta page. That's Instagram for those of you who don't do Instagram. Insta page, and I'm going to put her, her Instagram up later, but it's called the.pro.age.woman. And this is an amazing group, and it's actually how I met her. I was stalking her a little bit. Uh, she's got a huge following on, on Instagram and I wanted to be in her backyard and I invited her to join me in our backyard. And she's created this amazing community of like-minded women to support, uplift, and encourage each other to continue to strive toward our very best selves. And she's joining us today. So without further ado, we welcome Mary to the show. Hello. How are you today? Hey, Karen. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Well, I am so delighted that you're here. Um, I, I so resonate with your message. And, um, you know, I always like to start the show with this question. How do you describe a super boomer? And the way I describe super boomers is that we're fearless. And we don't define ourselves by age. We define ourselves by how we show up. So totally how, how would you describe a super boomer? To me, a super boomer or a pro-ager is somebody who starts at a certain point and changes their life with positivity. So what I say now is we all have issues. At any stage of life, we have issues. And yes, we of course, as we get older, we can have even more issues. But it's what we do with those issues and from those issues that make the difference. So. I, I think a super boomer is somebody who takes those challenges and moves forward and finds strategies to get past those. And it's not easy. It's a difficult task, but it's worth it. I so, so agree. Yeah. So, that, so agree. that's my whole way of thinking about well, it. That's super awesome. Boomer. Joey Garrity says, hi, sisters. Hey, Joey. Thank hi. you for joining us. Appreciate you being here. I'm going to get this. Okay. So. Let's just jump right in. You coined this phrase, the new age of aging. What does yeah. that mean exactly? How would you describe that? That means that I think there's a certain group of us, and I think of it as, let's say, 50 to 70, mm -hmm. that, that grouping. And we're not ready to just lay low and let things happen around us. We want to take action and be a part of the world. We want to stay relevant, visible and stay interested in, in life. And I, as we were talking about a little while ago, I don't see why not. You know, Wendy knows, I always say, why not? You know, exactly. if not, you know when. When? Exactly, I like to say not just why not, but just watch me. Exactly, I like that. Right? Just watch me. So, <laughs> when did it surprise you? You know, that's the thing. Exactly. I, I exactly. Think it surprise a lot of people. But, you know, I, I really don't understand that viewpoint anymore, mm -hmm. you know, because we, we are relevant. We have so much to offer and take our stake in this, in this world, you know. And I don't know, I, I think I've just started to blossom, honestly. 
Isn't that, I, and I so totally resonate with what you're saying. I feel like I blossomed too. And I blossomed specifically when I let my hair go and do this. And I showed up in a much more vulnerable space. And you and I have spoke about that, about the whole idea of being vulnerable and how that really became a game changer. And you said it's sort of the same thing. Yes. Well, vulnerable for me because um, it's sort of how this all began for me. I had some health issues uh, mm -hmm. about two and a half years ago. And from there, honestly, I remember this perfectly. I was laying in bed, feeling a little down, thinking, why did this happen? You know, that, that why did this happen to me? And I said, you know what? It had to happen for a reason. I have to turn this around. And that day I picked up Instagram and I really didn't know much about it. Wow. Okay. Wow. Because yeah. How many hundred, you have, thousands of followers you yeah. i don't even count, i mean you have thousands so you yes. just a, one a little day. over eighteen thousand, and yeah. i really don't even know what happened i just <laughs> i i struck a chord i yeah. think i think um with women around the world actually because i mm -hmm. have a lot of friends and followers now from australia and london and england and i just think that it was timing also yeah think women were feeling this they, yeah. they were looking for a space to connect because it can be a very isolating feeling that that that's what i think i think so too and i think that sometimes women don't know how to behave with each other sometimes women don't support women um that's a topic that we talk about often on this show is that when women finally understand that it's a really great thing to collaborate with other women because it only makes us more, 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 more uh, uh, able to do what we are put on this earth to do. So I, I applaud you. I talk about that also. I talk about you know, not being judgmental towards other women. I mean, where did that come from? You know, like uh, we, if we only knew to join together all those years ago, yeah. you know, can you imagine where we would all be also? So my whole thing is let's talk, let's yes. share, let's At be open, let's um, discuss everything that we want to discuss or need to discuss right. and uplift right. each other and stop judging each other. Absolutely. You, you let your hair grow, go gray. I really applaud that. I'm not up to that yet. <laughs> and it's not only because I don't like it, it's just because I sort of like being blonde, you know, and I've been and blonde for a long exactly. time. Exactly. And you know what, Mary, I think I think you know, my message has always been that it has not been, you know, because I'm white or I'm gray, you sh you all should color your hair gray. No, the message is from my perspective is that you should show up the way you want to show up, not because right. somebody else just uh, arbitrarily decided you can't have that color here. You can't wear these clothes. You can't wear heels. You should wear different makeup. Um, and, oh, Ellen says, um, Mary has a great story of how this community came to Hi, be. Ellen. She does. Hi. Hey, Ellen, thank you for coming on and participating. We really appreciate that. So Ellen's great. I know her personally. She's great. Oh, that's, um, that's awesome. You talk about pro-age. Mm -hmm. What so, does that mean to you? Pro-age means aging with positivity. Pro-age means not laying back and watching the world go by. Mm. Pro-age is taking action. That's pro-age. So yeah. in that whole realm is the idea of women getting together. I've always loved women supporting each other. Mm -hmm. And I think even at this stage, it's such an important lesson to learn and to just be there for each other. I mean, it's not really hard. It's just be there for each other. Yes, it, I, and, it's and, that easy. It really it, is that easy. That easy, you know, it's our mindset. And that's what I'm finding so much about all of this. It's a mindset. It's a mindset women should be competitive with each other. It's a mindset that women should judge each other. I mean, where did that all come from? It's the yeah. antithesis. I don't know. I have no idea where it came from. By the way, guys, if you're just tuning in right now, we're talking to Mary Frischman. She is the a, a pro-age advocate. She is all about the new age and aging, and we're delighted to ha have you on the show right now. Um, and one of the things that, that really intrigues me is that you are a pro-age advocate. And this morning I did a rerun of one of my shows that I did with uh, Cindy Joseph 
about a year ago. Um, and she, you know, she started the whole pro age revolution. She yes. was an amazing woman and she passed away soon after that interview, but she had an impact on my life. And interestingly enough, you said you shared with me a very similar thing. Oh, absolutely. She was the first one I saw. In fact, I used her products, which I like very much, but yeah. she was good for you too. But she was the first one that like really I was in tune to and something caught my eye on her site. I really mm -hmm. felt her. And I felt that she wanted to create a space for women to, mm -hmm. you know, be joined together. Yeah. And I think honestly, that's my whole bottom line is, uh, you know, you mentioned about, you know, where it all began and it, it also began, my page began in a funny way. It was all about fashion, but it wasn't fashion. It was about the idea that we could wear whatever the hell we want to wear. And nobody should say, you know, that we shouldn't be wearing that because we're 67 or 65 or 55. Exactly. I mean, where does that come in? If we're comfortable and we feel it looks great on us, I mean, we should be able to wear it. I, I agree. You can go out in your Michael Kors women's sunglasses, by the way. You can get those in the Super Boomer lifestyle. Um, you, if you want to walk out in your, your shades and, and do the Hollywood thing or just at the sun thing, you should be able to do whatever you want. Because Absolutely. it's not an age thing. Not an age thing. It sounds so simple, you know, and yet, and yet, you know, I, I live in my active wear usually because, you know, in the city, that's how a lot of us are, but that's my lifestyle. So right. even, even my friends would say to me years ago, you know, you never wear jeans. Why don't you change? I said, I don't feel like changing. This is it. This, this, is, this is what I want to wear and that's it. But you have to stay strong, you know, you have you inside yourself and you have to be true to yourself. You do. And, Look and who I just did. popped in. Look who just popped in. Hey, Wendy, Wendy just Hi. popped in. Hi. Hey, Wendy, thanks for joining us. I just wanted to make sure you saw her. I did. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Um, and Wendy and I had a great discussion about this, and she's really yeah. into it as well. And it was a great show. I saw oh, the I saw the interview. It was a great show. Thank you. And and yes, Lori was in that one also. Yes, yeah, yes, we, had, we had a fun time. But I, I just honestly, I can't I can't really focus on this enough. That if we were to all band together and and join together and, mm -hmm. uh, and uplift each other and support each other, you know, and encourage each other, and and who knows where we could be? I mean, look look where this has propelled me. I mean, I never thought exactly. of anything like this, you know. And and one thing I've been thinking about lately and you know, be interesting for you to hear is that I want to take it off the page into real life. Yes. Off, you want to take online, offline. Absolutely. Yes. I want to bring this into the real world because it stays on Instagram and that's great. And, and now it has been, and I'm doing these events, you know, at, at this community space for women and called the wing. And, you know, I, I, I'm Let's working talk about on that. it. Tell us yeah, tell so us about these I, events because you just started. Okay, meeting. okay. So actually, the people at the wing actually approached me, and they have a lot of young members. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they wanted some intergenerational work to be done, and they also wanted to come out and have women forty plus mm -hmm. join their community. Because I would even walk in there, I'd say, "I'm so young, you know. I wish we had this when we." <laughs> But where are my people, you know? <laughs> so, I hear you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. So so um, they asked me to do a breakfast, and I did. And I had 20 women. That was what I was allowed. And we had the best conversations. And we could have stayed there all day and had conversations about it. It was fantastic about yeah. you know, all professional or, or whatever they were into. And we just really joined together. We didn't know each other. And it was so beautiful. Because Mary, the, the basic, the time is now. And I think yeah. that's what we're seeing. We are seeing people come out of the woodwork looking yeah. for influencers, leaders like you, like me and others. There's, there are people that are that are coming into the space that are going to make such a difference, have already made a difference yes. and are going to continue to make a difference. Before the show, I said to you, we're thinking of doing a cruise next year. Right. And, and one of the things I said was, 
we all should be joining together right. and get the message out there. So I'm putting that message out back to you. You talk about living a life of possibility and choice. I hear the word choice a lot in your languaging and in your, your yeah. stories. What, what, why is that so important to you? Well, you know, this is something you, you, you asked me, um, you know, what people really don't know about me. Well, one thing they really don't know about me is I had a lot of anxiety in my early life. And I learned that a lot of that came from uh, my way of thinking. And once I learned how to choose uh -huh. to change that way of thinking, I was going to stay stuck there. You know, uh -huh. and I, I wouldn't be able to get out of that. Yep. And that once that clicked with me and I uh -huh. learned how to switch to different thoughts, it made the world a difference. And I haven't had any anxiety for years and years and years. So I think I've brought that over into today. And wow. what I say is, let's not, you know, lay around and feel sorry for ourselves or say we can't do this, the, the can'ts, the shoulds, shouldn'ts, you know, all that. Yeah, yeah. Once you learn, and it is, and it is a learning process. It, it honestly is. And it's not the simplest thing to do. But if I can encourage um, people, women, in, in my case, to do this, I think it would make a world of difference. So game changer, it, game changer, game changer. So Absolutely. if you're thinking that uh, and you're hearing that thought that's negative, if you could see that thought, thought like in the distance here, you know, not like where it's encompassing your brain, but right, it's right. out here. Absolutely. And you say, choice, I choose not to think that. I yeah. choose not to be judgmental. I choose. And you can say that, then you do have the opportunity to change mm -hmm. your way of thinking. And change the, your reality as well. Um, I want to totally. acknowledge that Wendy has a comment. I'm not going to put it up on the screen, and there's a reason for that. I will just okay. say that I want people to look in the comments because it's actually a very funny comment. But if I put it up on the screen, um, Facebook will shut me down okay. um, <laughs> with that particular word. Um, so, But I, I, wanted, I wanted to acknowledge, Wendy, I agree. Just do it. <laughs> With Just another word it. in between, yes. <laughs> with another word in between. I love that. I totally I love, love that. I love <laughs> when she gets right to the point. I love that. But that's really what this is all about, you that know. It really um, is. You know, say yes and figure it out later. Just do it. Just step into your power. I, you know, we talked before this movement that we're all a part of. Some of us are at the forefront of the movement. Um, we feel empowered. We yeah. feel like we have been given. I, I think a gift, I feel like I've been given a gift um, yes. and that I'm here for a reason. And I know that you feel the same way. That's exactly what happened after I was diagnosed with my the health issue. I said, okay, if I, this is honestly what happened. I said, if I have a number of years left, whatever that is, I better do something with that. <laughs> Otherwise I'm going to have been here right. and then what? Right. And, and would be over. So I really wanted to feel a value. It really pushed me forward to feel valuable in the world and to womanhood. Yeah. And I think more than age for me, it's about womanhood. Hmm. Interesting. And, yeah. And being our best at any age that we are, including where I am right now, which is 67 years old. So uh, that's that's how I feel. It, mm -hmm. It's it's also about just pushing each other and pushing ourselves to to be the best woman that we can, to be yeah. the best person that we can. Right. What is Wendy saying now? Oh no, she <laughs> actually said something good. She said, um, "Me neither. I tried, decided, nope, wasn't working for me either." So she was responding to a comment that you had made earlier. Oh, so, uh, okay. yeah. Um, so I, I think when you do have a health scare, mm -hmm. it can be the opportunity. See, that's another choice. Yep. I could have laid there and let me tell you, there were days I really wanted to, mm -hmm. and I hold a lot in. So really I wasn't sharing those feelings with everybody, but, mm -hmm. um, I said, you know what? I'm going to take that. I know that's there, but I'm going to do something with that. And honestly, it saved me because once I started my Instagram page, my mind was so into that that I didn't have time to just think about me. 
and what I was going through. So we've been mentioning your Instagram page for a while now, and it, I put the, the link, actually it's not a link, but I put what it is up there. We'll put the links down in the comments as well, but it's at the pro age woman with dots in between. Um, and you, you really do want to go follow her. Your, your images that you put up, because there are fashion images, there are lifestyle images. I mean, you, you really cover the, the gamut and you have so many people that are so engaged with you at this point. So I, I really congratulate you on that. You have done Thank an amazing, an amazing job. Um, you also have a website, theproawoman.com. We're encouraging people to go check out that as well. And what else, what else do you want to share with our audience in terms of how we're going to show up now and how we should continue to show up later? I think one thing that I do want to mention is let's think about the uplifting part of somebody else. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite things to do is, is I highlight women in, in um, they answer these questions that I put out there and I love their stories and I love their thoughts about aging and it's inspirational. So I want to say it's not only about, who we are and what we are doing. It's about hearing and sharing. I, I think that's such an important concept that we have to be open, especially in this day and age on social media. I mean, you know, there's oh, so yes. much, yeah, right. And we forget that, you know, mm -hmm. that there's another way of looking at things. And that's why I want to bring it to real life. And so if, if anybody that's listening has a thought, an idea, um, you know, a concept that they want to talk about with me to bring all this further, I'm very willing to listen and I'm so open to that. I, I love that. I, I love that. Um, I, I just feel like you have such an important message to share we have such an important message to, to, to share. And you talked about spotlighting, because I know you do that. You have some amazing yeah. women that you spotlight. Joey Garrity comes from the Hollywood world, and her her whole marketing and the way she markets things is about spotlighting others. And that yeah. is exactly that, because when you spotlight others, it all comes, it's the spotlight just shines brighter on you and everyone else. Oh. Totally. So, so I, I just love surrounding myself with people just like you. Uh, okay. Any last minute thoughts you'd like to share with the audience? Because we're almost done, believe it or not. <laughs> well, I think I think the last thing that I said was, honestly, if you have any thoughts, any ideas of how to bring this into real life and take it off online and Instagram and Facebook and all that and really just make something happen, in today's society, let's do it. I, I, I think let's there's do it, uh, guys. Here, it's right. a challenge, right? Mary, Mary is giving us a challenge right now. Let's do it. Let's band together. Put in the comments down there. Yes, if you are in this with us, because we are going to, we're going to make sure that everyone hears our message. So make yeah. sure you put a comment in there, whether you're live or on replay. I want, to, I want to hear you saying that. Um, I'm going to actually drop you into the green room in just a moment, but I want to thank you for, for taking time to be on the show. You're in New York right now, so it's later in the day. You're probably getting ready for dinner time or something. All right. Um, but I, I do appreciate you, you taking your time and joining me today. I'm delighted. I intend on continuing this this friendship that we have started and That's i right. hope that our networks out there enjoy are enjoying the show and enjoyed the show as much as i did so and, thank you so much for joining us and thank you karen i'll see you soon bye okay bye bye and and now it's time for this uh, the uh, super boomer moment and i'm going to bring that up there right now and um you know this is the time that i highlight a comment uh or a thought that we had um, that really struck a chord with me. And, you know, and it basically it was the last thing that Mary said, and that it, it's time is now. It, the time is now. We need to band together and we need to join together to make sure that our voices are heard. This is only the beginning. And so I really, I really thank Mary for putting that into words and I thank her for what she's doing out there. 
go check out her Insta page. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And while you're there, go check out mine as well at Karen Glasser. And I want to thank all of you who joined us today because we know that you have a choice as to where you spend your time and you chose to spend it with Mary and I today. And we are thrilled that you chose that. So go out, give somebody an awesome day, and we'll see you next time on the next episode of the Super Boomer Lifestyle Show. Goodbye, everyone.